Dimension of physical quantities. In this video, we are going to look at the definition of dimension, determine the dimensions of derived quantities, and verify the homogeneity of equations using dimensional analysis. Dimension is defined as the method which physical quantity can be expressed in terms of combination of basic quantities. When we observe an object, the first thing we notice is dimension, such as length, width, and height. Dimension enables us to know how a physical quantity is related to the base units of length, mass, time, and other base quantities. For instance, volume is a derived quantity related to the base quantity of length. Students, do you still remember base quantities and their units? In order to represent dimensions, the seven base quantities are enclosed in square brackets. The dimensional symbol for each of them is denoted as shown in the table. Capital L for length, capital M for mass, capital T for time, capital I for electric current, theta for temperature, capital N for amount of substance, and capital C for luminous intensity. Let's look at example 1. What is the dimension and unit for force? Force is always associated with Newton, but the unit Newton does not tell us what base quantities are related to force. This can be solved by using dimension. Solution Force is equals to mass times acceleration. Thus, the dimension for force is equals to the dimension for mass and acceleration. We know that acceleration is equals to velocity over time and velocity is equals to displacement over time. By replacing the dimensions with their dimensional symbols, we end up with mLt minus 2 and that is the dimension for force. From there, we know that the SI unit for force is kg ms minus 2. Now, we know that force is related to mass, length, and time. Dimensions can be used to check the homogeneity of physical equations. Homogeneity is the quality or state of being all the same which means that the dimensions of the quantity on the left-hand side must be equal to the right-hand side. The equation is said to be homogeneous or dimensionally consistent. However, this does not guarantee that homogeneous equation is physically correct. There could be an incorrect coefficient, a missing or extra term, are simply a wrong positive or negative sign. Let us verify the homogeneity of some equations. Example 2. A professor put an equation on the board V equals to V0 plus AT, where V is the velocity, A is acceleration, and T is time. Is the equation dimensionally correct? To do this, we need to check on each term whether they have the same dimension. 
The term on the left hand side is velocity, which is equal to displacement over time. Therefore, its dimension is Lt minus 1. On the right hand side, the first term is also velocity. Thus, the dimension is Lt minus 1. The next term is At. Acceleration equals to velocity over time, and velocity is displacement over time. By cancelling time on top and bottom, we end up with the same dimension. Therefore, this equation is homogeneous. Example 3 Alright students, how about this equation? Is it homogeneous? x equals to v over 2a. x is distance, v is velocity, and a is acceleration. Solution On the left hand side, dimension for x is capital L. On the right hand side, dimension for velocity is Lt minus 1 and for A is Lt minus 2. When we cancel the same term, we end up with capital T. Therefore, the equation is non homogeneous. That's all for dimension of physical quantities. See you in the next video. Thank you.